Hi, I'm Johan, and we're going to talk about what it means when we say shift left on something. You can follow me on Twitter at randomsort. Shifting left is all about feedback. This is commonly visualized by the development team delivering something to the users that provides feedback. This closes our feedback loop. Then we end up with the intuition that the further we get away from the developer and closer to the user or production environment, the more expensive it becomes to fix bugs. It becomes particularly expensive to fix bugs when the users are our notification scheme. But this is a very incomplete view of things. What about the multitasking that is necessary due to delayed feedback? What about all the wrong assumptions that we keep building into our software because they are untested? And what about developer and user happiness? Building the right thing for the user and getting that feedback. Those are some of the benefits, but how do we shift left on things? When we talk about shifting left on test, we talk about making testers QA coaches rather than those who do the manual testing. We talk about automating tests, and we talk about keeping the tests fast so we can short circuit the feedback loop. Another popular target for shifting left is security. When we talk about shifting left on security, we talk about providing pre-approved libraries to developers. We talk about putting security scans into the pipelines. And most importantly, we involve InfoSec at the conception of new features rather than having them come and review at the end. But we also need to shift left on the users. And two simple ways to do this is to always have the next version of the software running in a working condition and make sure that the team has direct access to the user's feedback and the mandate to change the requirements based on what they learn. This has been a brief introduction on shifting left in DevOps.